for going through my record store pickups once again. So first of all, let's go into the goodies. So this is one of them. It's like a print of Bad Witch by Nine Inch Nails from 2018. There's third most recent album. The most recent album that has vocals. Um, it's a pretty good album. I think it's, um, it's, I'd say it's probably my favorite out of the recent stuff, I'd probably say. Pretty good album. And then uh, this is the tote they came in. They, they kind of ran out of uh, tote bags so they used like Seagulls bags. And then um, a poster for Algiers, which is from Atlanta. The record store is in Atlanta. So. Um, I, don't, I actually don't like this album, but I do like this other album they did. Um, I wasn't too big on this one though, but I'm glad I got this. So it's cool. There's some stickers and magnets I want to show that. But there's also this thing, and there's this pin. And that's it. Alright, now on to the records. Um, I got Disintegration by The Cure. Let's go into the CD first. Is this, though? Even though I, I, I didn't get this, I got the CD a long time ago, but you know. I always do that. So, CD. There, um, as you, if you guys already know, I'm sure you know, I'm sure it's a pretty well known band. Post punk and gothic rock band from England. Really, really great. They have a very atmospheric and psychedelic sound, especially on this record. It's a more accessible sound than their very experimental and kind of scary album, Pornography, but I think this is their best by far, in my opinion. I really, really enjoy this album. That's some really interesting and unique guitar work. Really fluttering, just majestic ethereal sounds all over. Really good love songs on this too, I think. Usually I'm not super into love songs, but I really like the love songs on this. What's the other one? Alright. And then uh, next up, Rage Against the Machine. Rage Against the Machine. The debut album by... A rap metal band. Let's go on to the CD first. Rage Against the Machine are a popular group, highly political group influenced by left-wing politics. And all the members are socialists. And I'm not a socialist. I'm a social democrat, which um, is basically where you will run there and under a capitalist economy, but you also want stuff like free health care and free college and stuff like that. But anyways, they're a good band. I agree with a lot of the stuff they say, you know, but really, really unique sound too, and definitely the most memorable group in rap metal. And, uh, kind of weird them being left wing politics because I think a lot of their fans are probably people who are associated with right wing politics, like my uncle, a really large Trump supporter, and he loves this group, but doesn't know that. Well, that's definitely on the line of his. Um, it is what it is, I guess. But really, really great album, Rage Against the Machine. A beautiful album, their best in my eyes. Very catchy, very great vocal delivery. Really, really unique sound. Very unique guitar work. Just great album overall. All right. Um, this one is um fall be kind by animal collective it's an ep that came out the same year as mary their most popular album mary weather post pavilion and i actually prefer this over mary weather post pavilion i think this is one of their more underrated releases i think people kind of skip over it because it's an ep but it has a really some really good songs on this the first track and then what would i want sky i think it's one of their best songs <clears throat> I 
underrated and very well they're both doing one of the more overrated releases. I think this is one of the more underrated releases and I actually think this is stand up with some of their best albums. Alright, um Let's see. Uh, um, set My Heart on Fire Immediately by Perfume Genius. He's from Washington. I think he's born in Iowa, though. But um, um, art pop musician. He kind of he has a very, very good production generally. Really, really ethereal orchestration and everything. He kind of goes all over the place in this. There's some harder songs. There's some songs that are just kind of dancey. There's songs that are really, really beautiful and string arranged. Really, really cool sounding album. One of the more underrated albums of 2019. I think this one just came out. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really, really like this album. I, I feel like it kind of got snubbed. There's a lot to like about this. Very well produced. Very, very unique and diverse sound. My favorite he did, yes. Yeah. I think he's kind of gotten better after he's released. Alright, um. This album came out a couple days ago, actually. Um, this is Hatchy, Giving the World Away. And it's a really good album. And uh, I wasn't super big on her other album, but I think this one is notably better. She's from Australia. It's very catchy, but also just a very psychedelic sound, too. Really, really pretty green record. Very catchy, very... Fun sound, and also just very pretty and atmospheric sound too. It's a really great album overall. Probably my top ten of the year, maybe my low top ten though. So far, I'd probably say. Maybe we'll that down. Alright, um... This one is Grace by Jeff Buckley. Unfortunately, the only album he made is because he passed away in 1998 at the age of 30. This is unfortunately the only studio album he released while he was alive. Um, it's a really great debut. I don't even know if this is probably would have just been his best anyway, but it's unfortunate he really could have offered a lot to the music scene. His father is also a musician, um, Tim Buckley, and uh, ended up, and Tim Buckley is a really talented and really great musician too. But I think he ended up being an even more great musician than his own father. Uh, he has a very, very unique and just really, really incredible vocal range. He has so many, like I think four octaves. And he can... The way, it's just so really, just really impressive the way he can sing and that's how he can do so many different ranges. And he can do it for so long. And that's one, another one thing that makes this album great is he has such an amazing voice. Like, incredible voice. And, and then the album is also super diverse, too. It has some great progression. There's some, it's just a really, really pretty, just really, really great album. Really sad that this is the only thing he made. But, anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.